All right, so I'm Mikey. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that's teaching his word on true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson. Suddenly, life becomes death. And that's the status of America. Suddenly, you know, as this place was seen uh, as lively, you know, you got lights, you know, these night lights, you know, uh, pretty much people at these bars and out having these different outings, you know, this place is live, but suddenly it's going to die, you know, suddenly you're not going to have pleasure in these days. Matter of fact, let's get that. Hey, because that's, uh, that's an actual term, you know, with Jake, let's just say if you're going to a party and it's, it's not living up to what you expect, expect to be, you're going you're gonna to say, man, this place dead, it's dead. Well, that's the status of this place, man. The pleasures is being taken away. So this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not. See? Because the evil days, we're in the beginning stages of these evils, man. You know? So, it, Lord is saying, repent. But for, Jacob, for this place, uh, for this, you know, the troubles, the evils fully intensify before it comes into its perfection, man. You know? It says, uh, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. See? And you see it now is slowly being taken away, those pleasures. You know? When you had different curfews. You know what I mean? You got to, it's, it's certain restrictions. You know, a lot of these restaurants just pretty much had to close all the way down because of the evils that there's uh, the beginning of the evils, man. By the way, the the crown, you know, and it's only going to get worse, man. And, and, and the snare is, you know, uh, you got news that everything about to re them up, just so it can be shut back down, man. But that's the time we in. So, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Ecclesiastes. Cuss, so Rock 5 and verse 7, it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, see? And put not off from day to day. And that what we just read in Ecclesiastes 12, man. It's pretty much saying the same thing. Turn back to Yahweh Shem Shah. And it said, put not off from day to day, meaning why? Because at any day now, at any time, the waters can breathe forth. You know, suddenly the money can crash. Suddenly, the power goes out. You know, suddenly martial law can be uh, implemented, man. But we in that time now where these things are going to take place. So at any day, it can happen. That's why I said put not off from day to day. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. See, so it said, in your security. Why you at a restaurant? Or uh, you just sitting back watching the LeBron game? That's when the Lord is gonna is gonna uh, sneak up on you, man. You know, and snare you, man, because you was at because we in, we pretty much at the height of comfort, man. You know, you is a it was a you know back then you had it was a figurative saying that was it was figurative, um by the way of you know you got everything at your fingertips, but now that's actual literal, man. By the way, if you can just you got an app for everything. You got food, you, you got an app for you to get food to come to you. You got uh you want a car, you got you can got an app to get a car and it'll come to you. Even box. You can you can order it, you got an app where you can get it and it'll come to you, man. So we at we at the height of pretty much comfort, you know, and and, and uh you know it, it comfort, man. You know? But it says and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, which the day of vengeance can be reserved to the day, the certain day the Lord going to kill you. But it's actually a time frame where it's going to be a, a vengeance, man. You know, pretty much Esau is going to come down with great wrath, which really, that's really your how about you, man. I'll the wrath of the Lord playing out through Esau, man. You know? 
But that's the time when suddenly it's going to happen. And that's one of the characteristics of your Yahweh Hashem on Shai. You know, you just, one day, you know, you was at a bar. You, you know, you, you went to the brewery. The next day, you standing in the chip line. Or you running from, the, or you in, a, you in a concentration camp, man. That's going to be the hard transition a lot of people is about to um, go through, man. Which, it, this, everyone's about to be affected by this one-way form of fashion, man. You know, this, this transition from life to death. Because, oh, matter of fact, um, because Joel, the second child, when you go into it, it's the perfection of it, um, or that, that, that life to death, you know, uh, aspect. Let's get that real quick. So like a Joel 2 and verse 3, it says, A fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth. See? The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. See, so as you can see, this is talking about um, the thermonuclear missiles, man, when you go into it. And it said, before they hit ground zero, the land, which is talking about America, is the, as the garden of Eden before them, which, you know, the Eden means paradise. And like I said, we at the height of comfort. The, you know, this, this place is is geared towards pleasing the flesh. You got to you got to act for anything that you you got uh you uh you you know got a lust for. You you lusting for something, it's an out for it, man. You know. So we 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 at the height of paradise for these people for you know cuz everything is geared towards the flesh. But it says and behind them a desolate world. So after everything said and done, it's a it's a wilderness. So it through through that time it was from life to death. You know, it was a point in time when you seen street lights in a, uh, you know what I mean? To now, it's a desert. You only see screech owls and shit. But that's the, that's the, that's what's going on now spiritually to America. But it's going to manifest physically, man. Suddenly these things are going to take place, man. You know? And, and, and that's, like I said, that's one of the characteristics of your how about Shemia was shy. Um, let's get this real quick. Please ask us. Because, you know, people just, they, they settle here in America, man. They love being in this place. But that's going to be to their detriment. So let's get this. This is the book of, um, bear with me. So like, yeah, bear with me. Okay, yo, this is on uh, Sirach 11, and in verse 24, it says, and again, say not, I have enough and possess many things, and what evil shall I have hereafter? And that's what these people think, man. You know, there's somehow, some way, you, you got enough to where you're going to be all right when this transition happens. When it's so-called great reset, these people are actually getting prepared for this 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 trend. You know the so-called new world order, man. You know on the left hand side, they being acclimated and uh uh, what the word what the word is um uh, uh, assimilated into this new world order, man. And they they don't expect they just think everything's gonna get back to normal, you know, or the new normal. But they don't expect evils, man. It says, in the day of prosperity, there is forgiveness of, of affliction. See? And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance, no more remembrance of prosperity. See? So, yeah, when you prosper, you ain't thinking about, you know, when you catch a, when you caught hell or uh, anything like that. You, you, you know, you might even, you might meditate on it. You know, Spirit, the Lord, you know, Lord, throw you a bone, but you always consider that you were fucked up, you know. You always keep that in mind. You already be prepared that you might be fucked up again, man. You know, but with these people, they don't. They, they they just they just go on with the flow, man. You know, but it says in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. See, because we come in the time where it's gonna be affliction. Matter of fact, let's get that. I think it says that in Mark, because this form of affliction is not gonna be affliction like no other, man. 
Is this not going to be your your form of relief is getting back to the house and just, you know, watching the game? You ain't going to have that luxury of doing it because you had a bad day at work. But you can watch the game to, to cool it. No, man. Only thing you're going to owe it tells you sorrow is going to be a pun on every side. Meaning, it ain't going to be no relief in the time to come. Unless you got this truth. You know? So, let's get there. This is the book of St. Mark 13. Um, in verse 19. It says, For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which the Most High created until this time, neither shall be. See? So, in a time, it's going to be a time of affliction like no other, man. This is some, it's going to be a hard transition. It's not like you're going to be able to bounce back from this, this room. The Lord, you how about you I have spent you with, man. You know, talking about these people, the one that dwell upon this world, you know, on this world, man. That's ascribed to this devil and his system, man. Whatever rhetoric and doctrine and philosophy he puts forth, you ain't even got to be an American to take part in his destruction or a patriot. If you need America to continue to accomplish any goal, Besides getting on the chariot, you gonna die, man. Especially you you here in America, man. This land right here. But it's saying it's gonna be a flesh in like no other in the time to come. But it's gonna suddenly happen. You're not gonna get a heads up, martial law is gonna take place. You're not gonna get a heads up, the money gonna crash. It's gonna suddenly take place, man. You know? And for the ones that think that you know that um that they're going to, uh, you know, somehow uh, be all right and, and then, you know, try to get ready, prepare for this transition. Hey, they, they in for a rude awakening, man. So let's get this. This is the book of uh, Luke 12 and 16. It said, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And, and, when, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and be a greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And yeah, and that's ultimately talking about these elites, you know, coming in this this, this transition, you know. Because this is actually a, uh, an act of desperation, man. But these people also is involved as well, man. You know, coming to another transition like this system is already is 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 is, is through, and they think they're gonna just somehow hit the reset button and be a greater. They're gonna they're gonna try to, uh, I mean, get a new foundation. And no man, matter of fact, continue on. It says, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much good laid up for many years. Take thine ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. And that's what these people think, man. Somehow, some way, it's going to get back to normal. They're going to have a soft landing for their children. And they're going to take the high ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Meaning what? They're going to be comfortable here in America. They're going to be feel so-called secure in this place, man. It says, but the most I said unto him, thou fool, this night, which this is that time, under the rulership of Esau, thy soul shall be required of thee. Then... Who who shall these uh it's like then who shall those things be which thou hast provided see so as you can see it was, it was just course of time he was he was living it up you know and it got to the point he counseled saying hey, I gotta come into this next transition you you thinking that somehow some way this this place is gonna continue wickedness is gonna continue man. But what the Lord said, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. So meaning what? They lie, it's, it, it's going to come to a dramatic stop, man. That transition from life to death is going to be a sudden dramatic thing. When these series of plays take forth, man. You know? And that's the only, that's the only thing we can do is, is hope and pray that we be preserved from these things to come, man. Because we know it's coming. We see it. You know, and you put your stock into this place, you're going to go down with it, man. Matter of fact, uh, we could just end off on this because, like I said, we, hey, that, that trend, life is going to suddenly become death, man. You see this place so-called lively, even just traffic, you know, just 5 o'clock traffic. 
all that shit gonna be gone, man. You know? Oh, it tells you that um uh in second the sixteen child like, you know, it's gonna pretty much look like Jumanji, man. So it's gonna that transition from life to death is gonna it's a build up to it. Even just like I said, this place spiritually dead, but it's also gonna manifest when America's totally destroyed. So I'm gonna end off on this. This is the book of Job thirty six and verse twenty. It said, Desire not the night when people are cut off in their place, see. So the night is talking about this system, this rulership under the rule of the so called white man. Don't desire this place. Don't put your stock into it. Why it says because uh, it said when, so to let you know, it's an appointed time when these things are going to take place when um, people are cut off in their place. So pretty much these devils are going to be cut off, you know, uh, and their status is going to be cut off. Everything is going to come back to a rightful order. These these people, they their pride is going to be brought down low, man. You know? So, but that's the time we end. Life suddenly life is going to become death. So yeah, I can I just hold it edifying. I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kudash. I'd like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word and all true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abai Babal.